Philip Gemmel, MD of LA Bartends. He's going to be taking me through the secrets and use of uh, malt whiskey cocktails. So, Scott, take me through it. The first cocktail we're going to make, we call it an octail, uh, which is something we've been working with Anop. This is uh, made at Noctu Distillery up in Aberdeenshire. Some fiery opinions about us using a uh, single malt and whiskey. Uh, we found what this did the purists think? Mm, God, mm, mm. God, yeah. Uh, we had people with their hands on the hips, um, and we had people shaking their heads. Some people embraced it, um, and you know that was that was for us what not what we came down here to do was uh, I think to encourage people to mix whiskey. There's certainly flavours there that we can use, uh, and as mixologists, that's how we work. Um, and generally speaking, I think single malts can be very tricky to work with. Okay, um, why is that? Single malt can be very fiery, robust flavours that you get, the peaty, the smoky flavours that we get coming through. They're very hard to work with. So in the case of Anok, it's actually quite unique. Uh, and this is why we can't generalise with whisky and cocktails, because individually there's almost a new set of rules for every individual whisky, because they have their own flavours. Okay. They have their own personality. So we explore them flavours and take them down a road and hopefully find uh, a winning combination. So that, you know, that's what we do. Um, but Anok is very soft, very subtle. You know, hints of lemon, honey in the, the foreground. So, so it works it's, obviously it's, very well then in yeah, cocktails. Yeah, it's versatile. You know, it's, um, okay, liquid alchemy, in fact. Yes, that's right. The search of liquid gold. That's what we're doing. Yeah, it's not a new thing we're seeing cocktails. Um, in fact, it's been around for many years, hundreds yeah. of years. Um, you look at the Manhattan, for example, which the is traditional Manhattan. Yeah, that's right. right. With both rye whiskey. Yeah. But there's no absolute no reason we can't do it with you know, Scottish whiskey. The cocktails we we're doing, we're not we're not destroying the flavour. We're just you know, whiskey is still the dominant soul. Yeah. We're just subtly taking it another direction, another direction. Now we're going to make you an oxtail, which is a, a combination of pressed apple juice. Okay. And up here, do you want to make it? Do you want me to make it? Well, I'll tell you what, you uh, make it and I'll drink it. Okay, that sounds like really a good combination. Okay. So a nice pour, bottle facing. There we go, and a cut. Lovely. So okay. this is going in now. Okay, yep. Just a splash. Okay, nothing too major. Orange bitters, which you get from actually orange rind itself. It's the, the oil. It's actually quite a core flavour. Yeah. Just literally a dash. There we go. A splash of apple. We pop a nice reinforced Boston glass on top. We create a vacuum. The old one legged shake. Is that an essential? The procedure. What's that? Is that a well, the one legged thing? Yeah. No, I don't know. It just allows me to create a bit of balance yeah, okay. um, and get my whole body behind it. We'll just pop that, let it drip. Just cut. Lovely. So, nip, dip, and sip if you can grab a straw. Okay. Um, key is that we dip. Okay. We there we go. Bring it horizontal. Very smooth. Isn't it? It's lovely, isn't it? Well rounded. Yeah. It's very fruity as well. Yeah, yeah. So we, you know, we just explored that route. What I'm doing here is just taking the skin, the flesh of the lime. So there's different ways to get flavours and in, into the drink, and effectively into the palate. So in this case, we have it on the nose. Mm -hmm. We go down if you can smell. You smell the citrus element, the oil. Oh yeah, I can smell yeah, the citrus yeah. oil. So is it ready for down the hatch? Yeah, go for it. Give here it a goes. Blast. Here's to whiskey live. I love the citrus with it. Good and you wouldn't really think that so much, would you, with yeah, yeah, uh, whiskey? Sure. In fact, I'm going to have to have another sip. Good, I'm glad you enjoy. Mm. We, do, we do try our best. Oh, lovely. Mm, great. Well, thank you very much for showing us that, Scott. Not at all.